Hello everyone. This is about practical tips for buying insurance. Today's topic is on marine cargo insurance. Marine cargo insurance is one of the oldest uh, forms of insurance and has been in existence for centuries now for insuring property uh, in transit from one place to another against perils incidental or consequent to the navigation through sea or through air, rail, road or inland waterways. Even though marine cargo insurance is heavily transacted, there are a few pitfalls that uh, one comes across which can lead to problems at the time of claims. With a bit of attention, these can be avoided. Firstly, one must pay close attention to the INCO term under which the transit is happening in case of exports or imports. INCO terms or international commercial terms clarify the rules or terms uh, that the buyers or sellers use in international and domestic trade contracts. One must ensure that there is no divergence between the terms of the insurance policy and the INCO term used for the underlying transit. So if the, INCO, if the export is done on CAF terms, then the risk of the seller will normally cease on unloading at the discharge port unless it is specifically extended up to the warehouse located inland. If that's not done and the loss happens during the journey from the port to the warehouse, there won't be any coverage under the policy. Merely saying warehouse to warehouse uh, cover in the policy uh, means nothing. Secondly, the nature of commodity and packing uh, should be uh, given careful consideration. Often the packing is described as standard and customary, which conveys practically nothing. The coverage should be considered according to the uh, nature of the commodity and the packing which is involved. If frozen goods are to be covered, then the frozen food clauses should be obtained. As standard all this cover excludes inherent risk. So, uh, thirdly, the marine cargo policy is subject to percenting or per location limits. So the value of the cargo in a single conveyance or a location uh, such as a port or Indian Mediate barrows cannot exceed the limits set in the policy. It is therefore important to have a handle on these aspects and not leave it to the logistic service provider to avoid being without adequate insurance protection should the cargo value exceeds uh, these limits. These are some of the critical points to be kept in mind, but certainly these are not the only ones. Like every other insurance purchase, one must uh, pay careful attention uh, to the terms and conditions, particularly if there are any uh, special conditions or warranties that have to be complied with by the insurer. Thank you.